Welcome back to the Mystic YouTube channel. In today's video, we have a special treat for all of you aspiring pirates out there. We're going to be sharing the fastest way to become a legendary pirate in the Sea of Thieves. So grab your grog, hoist the anchor, and let's set sail. Before we begin, it is important to understand the different paths you can take to become pirate legend. Sea of Thieves offers three distinct factions Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, and Merchant Alliance. Each faction provides unique quests and rewards. There are also another two factions, the Hunter's Call and Reaper's Bones, but we're not going to be focusing on those in today's video. To level up quickly, we recommend focusing on one faction at a time. By doing so, you'll earn reputation faster, unlock exclusive cosmetics, and progress towards Pirate Legend status more efficiently. Now that you've chosen a faction, it is time to embark on quests. Let's talk about the most efficient way to complete them. First, start with the lower level quests from faction representatives. These quests are easier and quicker to complete, allowing you to gather reputation points faster. As you'll level up, you'll unlock more challenging and rewarding quests. As well as this, you'll also unlock the Emissary Flag at level 15 once you reach it. This flag allows you to earn additional reputation and gold based on how much treasure you acquire during your quests. Additionally, try to focus on specific regions or islands when accepting quests. This minimizes the time spent sailing from one location to another, optimizing your efficiency and maximizing your rewards. I personally recommend using the Devil's Rule for Ashen Voyages, which earn more reputation. And if you're trying to spend less time sailing in one session, make sure to start your voyages in the Shores of Plenty. Becoming a pirate legend is no easy task. It requires teamwork and coordination with your crewmates. Joining a crew or forming a group of like-minded players is highly recommended. With a coordinated crew, you can divide tasks efficiently, complete quests faster, and defend against other pirates trying to hinder your progress. As well as this, if you have fellow pirates who are higher level, they will have higher level voyages, earning you more rewards, gold, and reputation. If you're looking for like-minded pirates to help you on your journey to Pirate Legend, feel free to join the Discord in the description of this video. Apart from regular quests, don't forget to keep an eye out for fortresses and other world events, as well as emergent events such as the Megalodon, Kraken, Skeleton Ships. These all earn you a lot of high-level loot, which will help you on your journey even further. Fortresses are known as skull forts and are formidable challenges but yield great rewards. These events typically involve waves of skeleton enemies and a final boss battle. Defeating the boss rewards you with heaps of treasure and reputation. World events like skeleton fleets and ashen lords also provide excellent opportunities for gaining reputation quickly. Keep an eye out for these events as they are often result in substantial rewards. After all these quick tips, you should finally reach the rank of pirate legend. There's more to this prestigious title than meets the eye. Once you reach level 50 in each of these three factions, you will be able to visit the mysterious stranger in any tavern across the Sea of Thieves. It will award you the Athena's Fortune Shanty, where you can play it and unlock the hideout and become Pirate Legend. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.